I've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 here. I was experimenting with a couple of custom ROMs and ran into an issue. Currently in a boot loop, so I figured I would do a video showing you how to fix the the system has been destroyed boot loop error. It is common on most or many Xiaomi MIUI devices. You can see we get that image anytime we try to boot both into the Android operating system as well as if we try to boot into recovery mode. We're getting this system has been destroyed boot loop message on both attempts. So in order to fix this, naturally we're going to need to have an unlocked bootloader, but you can still do this if you're able to boot into EDL mode which again varies from device to device. Your best shot is to Google your device name as well as EDL mode to find the method. Some require you to use a special dongle. Others require you to press a contact point inside the phone so you'll have to open up the phone. But if you have an unlocked bootloader, then you will not need to go through all of that hassle. Instead, we can actually flash it through fast boot mode. So we can do that by following this instructions, pressing the power button to shut down. So we're going to press and hold the power button once we see this screen. And once you see the phone turn off, we're then going to boot into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the power button as well as the volume down button. You see, as soon as I saw the screen turn off, I let go with that power button so that I could press and hold that button combination and we're going to hold that until we get this fast boot mode screen. Once we're here we're going to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. And if you haven't done so already download a fresh copy of the firmware for your device. I use a website called xiaomifirmwareupdater.com I'll be linking to it in the video description below so that you can type in your device name. You can also use the code name and download the most recent version of MIUI for your device. So we have downloaded the fast boot ROM version of this firmware. It has to be the fast boot ROM version, not the recovery ROM. Download the fast boot ROM version. And we're just going to take that and extract it into a folder. And when we go into that folder, you're going to see another compressed file that we're going to extract again. And when we go into that folder, you're going to see a folder that we go into then we have a number of scripts that we can run with a folder labeled images and this is the firmware this is what runs the phone this is how we're going to fix that error so we're going to take all of these files right here and we're going to copy them and then we, we need to paste them into our adb and fastboot tools folder for me that is this right here. We're just going to paste those files there. If you have any that need to be overridden, then yes, we're going to replace them. As you can see, I've done this before with other devices. And then we're going to open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal within this folder. On Windows, I can do that very quickly by holding the shift button when I right click an empty spot of the folder because it, it will give you an open PowerShell window here. But if you want you can open up a regular command prompt and then navigate to your ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. So if we remember there were a number of different scripts that were copied here, a flash all, a flash all except data storage, and a flash all lock option. We're going to be executing the flash all.bat. 
So type out flash underscore A-L-L dot B-A-T. And if you want, we can actually double click this file. It, it will run this script. But if it errors out, then the window is going to instantly close and we will not see what that error is. So we will not be able to troubleshoot what's going on. If we run this script from the prompt right here, if it errors out, we'll at least be able to find out why. And you may need to find a proper USB cable and or USB port combination. I know some, some Xiaomi devices are not happy using USB 3.0 ports. I had this script freeze a couple of times using my traditional USB-C cable, but switching ports and switching to a different older cable seemed to fix that issue. And as you can see, we're just going to simply wait. We're going to be patient. This script is going to run. And we should get a message at the end saying that the script is done. Not only that, we may even see the Xiaomi Redmi smartphone reboot as well, all on its own. Some of these scripts are run differently. Some of these scripts have it reboot automatically. Others do not. And you can see some of these files are very large, so large that they need to be broken up into multiple segments. So while this script is running, we are going to, again, be patient. Don't tinker with the phone. There's no need to hold the phone or wiggle the cable. Make sure that connection is solid and that the script can run to completion. If for some reason the script hangs, like I was having issues with on the other cable, then all you need to do is unplug the cable, force the phone to power off by pressing and holding the power button, and then booting back into fast boot mode exactly like I showed you. You will need to reboot back into fast boot mode in order to retry this type of script. But that should only be needed if it hangs for you. So our phone has been rebooted. We are told the script has been completed and we can press any key to continue. You can see our phone is in the process of booting up for the first time since that unbrick process. From here we can unplug that USB cable. It's no longer needed. Just saw the boot animation complete. And this first boot back into Android again and back into MIUI again is going to take a little bit longer than normal. It may seem like it is stuck, but as you can see, we are not getting that system is destroyed message like we were before. Android is just setting things back up, and it will soon take us to the Android activation screen.
remember, we're just being patient. The UI in Android has a lot of things to set up when we do something like this. Similar to doing a factory data reset, Android has to optimize a lot of apps, get the whole setup and activation flow ready for you. And here we go, we are back into Android. And I'm just going to skim on through this activation screen. Now, if you see this screen right here, this is because you had a Xiaomi Mi account logged into your device. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap the open Wi-Fi settings. I'm gonna log into my Wi-Fi network and then I'm going to tap on activate this device and it's going to ask me to log into my Xiaomi Mi account and it needs to be the same Xiaomi Mi account that was used before the device was passed was reset and unbricked and then you're just going to set up MIUI like you normally would We're just going to be setting up this device as new. You can restore if you want. It's highly unlikely that data is going to send your device back into that boot loop. So all we did is go through the standard unbrick process in order to fix the Xiaomi the system has been destroyed error message boot loop. I ran into this by because I formatted a couple of partitions and then tried to reboot back into recovery mode. I was obviously not able to do that because I formatted those partitions. I was not even able to temporarily boot 
a custom recovery, which was surprising. So that is how I fixed the system has been destroyed error on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 phone. This will work on many Xiaomi Redmi devices. It's not limited to just this phone. And you can also use the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool and load that firmware into the tool. And instead of running the script manually, you can use the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool to run that script for you. I've done tutorials showing how to use that tool. And I'll link to a couple of those unbricked tutorials in the video description as well.